So this is the morning after the night before. Oof. That was a good night. That was a good party. Oh, that's really nice. Everyone could finally let their hair down. But yeah, shame there was no dancing. We didn't make it back over to that like club thing. Um, yeah, we were just gabbing away all night. I think I've just got a bit. So now I'm just going out for some food. Oh, another epic fail. We were going to go try and find a, a club, but I ran back, dropped my bags off, left people on, literally on that corner, ran back and they'd gone. And then no one was picking up my uh, WhatsApp messages. Fail! So I got some food and went home. But hindsight, it's probably best that I did because today I'm seeing two shows. I thought I was gonna go watch them on Monday. It's today. So I got my first show at five, which is in a few hours. And then I'm watching the Baby Got Back at nine. I mean, I was up till like three in the morning. So hopefully, hopefully I'll still be awake and I get my second wind. Right, food. I am going in for that cheese. Brand oh. Going off to catch the show. I am so tired. I had the food. Which is really, really good. But I just got back and zonked out for about half an hour. It's gonna be long. It's gonna be a long night. But really looking forward to it. Right, I'm just off to my second show, the baby got back, but wow, Betroffenheit was incredible, absolutely incredible. One of the best shows I've seen I think, ever. I've seen a lot of shows and this was up there, the genius. So I found out that Betroffenheit, it means impact or grief. And the writer of it, Jonathan Young, he's, uh, he's a Canadian actor. He's actually in Sanctuary. Not that I've seen it. He devised it with Crystal Pite. And it was his, it was his path. It, it was his own Betroffenheit that he was exploring and it was just I mean, spelled by me it was captivating it was it was absolutely brilliant I mean the dancing was dancing was top-notch it was absolutely sublime just I was I mean I, like I have no words it was absolutely captivating there was seven one two six in the cast five dancers and then Jonathan Young but they really dealt like he went he really really went deep into his memories for um, for it and you could see it you could you could you could they put it out there all on stage it was an outstanding piece of theater Wherever you are in the world, if it ever tours and you come across it, get yourself a ticket. Just, just go. Unbelievable. So now I'm going to go see my second show. It's a complete 180. I'm not really sure what to expect.
So you'll get a good finger blasting as well. That's right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah, oh, you beautiful people here. This is what I like to call the splash zone. <laughs> yes. I know. It's true. Well, sometimes I get excited. And I'm a squirter. So, you know. But we love squirters here. That's why we're, we're totally all about squirters. Just come out of. Baby got back. Oh. My. God. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting more. Like it was quite bad, it's like a really bad, it's like a really bad lap dance. I basically went to a titty show, but the most cringeworthy thing about it was all the couples that went there, watching it together, and all the guys in the front row who were just like a smile from ear to ear and then they kept looking at their wives girlfriends whoever <laughs> every five minutes you saw it all you saw it all just saying <laughs> oh my god it was hilarious and they did pictures afterwards so um check this This is awesome! Check him out. Brilliant. You have no idea what you're going to come across. Awesome. American cars. That's like, that's the fourth one I've seen tonight. The malls, balls, ladies and gentlemen, the malls, balls. So they were only, not them, them, they were only meant to be a temporary feature. And when this whole place got redeveloped, they were going to get rid of them. And then there was a huge petition to keep them in the mall. And now they're like a, an Adelaide landmark. So yeah, the mall's balls. Nice. If they're a duo, there's a keyboardist and a slackliner. In heels. So this is the street right behind where we're staying. And every single Friday, Saturday night, it's absolute pandemonium. If you're from the UK, if you're from London, I would say the closest thing to it is like Soho. 
and a little bit less square thrown into it. But like a mile long. It's so trashy. But the... That was a water. I thought someone just literally took a piss in the street. It's so trashy. But I haven't gone out. Wow, that club is empty. I haven't gone out once yet. I've only got a few more days to like experience Adelaide. So I feel one night I'm gonna try and get the guys to go out there. Like I haven't gone out in a long time and just let rip. And now I've only got like a few more days left here in Adelaide together. I feel it's on the cards.